Happy day, everyone. Welcome to Kimi 5, Live Well, Jamaica's Top 5 Stories, April 12 to 16, by Romine Beckford. Our top five stories for this week. Number one, debunking the myth of therapy, challenging the belief that men should be emotionless, by Keon Ford. Number two, how my dad overcame is emotional unavailability by Yassine Doug Amat. Number three, Sandals Foundation and Flankers Primary and Junior High School collaborates to distribute care packages by our admin staff. Number four, counseling psychologist suggests therapy to cope with anxiety and depression by Beyonce Thomas. And number five, anxiety and depression lower productivity in the workplace by me, Ramin Beckford. Throughout history, men have been the warrior, hunters, and breadwinners of society. Now imagine a warrior or hunter in therapy. Now this story by Kian Ford is really a powerful one. Because it speaks about how men are who express their emotions are considered weak. And I'm glad that Keon is debunking the myth where society says that men are weak because they express themselves. Men, you are not weak. And if you get and if you feel that you need help, get the help that you need. And there is nothing wrong with therapy. All right? Be courageous and get the help that is needed. And this one is a very powerful story where Yasin spoke about his dad's experience, where his dad's best friend was trying to lead him down out to a particular path. And as a result of that, his dad became emotionally unavailable, where he did not trust a lot of people and he felt that the person could not be trusted. My dad, Ahmad, Doug Amat became emotionally unavailable when he realized that no one can be trusted. Trust me, you want to read that story. Sanders Foundation, in collaboration with the Flankers Primary and Junior High School, on Wednesday, March 31st, distributed over 40 well stock care packages to families of students of the learning institution you know why i chose this story because it's good when a company realizes their corporate social responsibility to society and the community and we just want to i just want to applaud sandals for that for doing this our fourth story did you know 244 million people worldwide live with depression both Anxiety and depression are common among young and middle-aged people. I did not know that. So thank you very much, Beyonce, for providing this information. And in this story, Beyonce also talks about the symptoms of anxiety and depression and also the coping mechanism. So please read this one. Very powerful story. And the last story is by me. According to a statistical report from the Ministry of Health, due to the absence of employees from the workplace because of mental health issues, the country lost over 859 million in 2013 to 2014. So this story that I wrote, I wanted to show the correlation between productivity and anxiety and depression and to show how anxiety and depression can affect productivity in the workplace. And in the stories I wrote, it also speaks about um, advice from experts in the field, psychologists in the field that backs up this information that when an employee mental well-being is being affected, then they will not be able to perform at their optimum. And we know that we need all employees at their optimum in the workplace. All right, this was Gimme 5, Live Well, Jamaica's top five story for this week. I am Romain Bedford. I would just want you to check this out on YouTube and our YouTube channel and also visit the Live Well, Jamaica site at livewelljamaica.com. All the best. Until next time. Take care.